Hey y'all, in case you didn't know, Jenna told y'all in a previous video, but there it is. I was putting wood in the stove the other day, the other morning, and um, had the door open. There's a little bit of heat in here, but not much. I mostly let it burn out, but you know, I had the door open maybe like that much. I was kind of in a hurry. And somehow I got the wood right here and it just rolled right out of my hand and hit the glass. So, we have a new glass. And I am gonna put this glass in here and uh, see how this goes. Hey, look, a friend of mine asked me if I ordered a new rope seal. I told him I did not. And it came with one, already on it. Okay, so there's the directions. Hmm, I wonder if I need to look at those. Probably not. Allow the stove to cool. Mm, you know, whatever. That's like a suggestion. Okay, y'all. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws around this that I'm going to take out. And it looks like there's a metal band that are that's holding the glass in place because on this outside the glass is just against the the cast iron door so i need to take these six screws loose and like i said i'm pretty sure that glass is just going to fall out when i start taking those out seems pretty simple as long as these screws come out okay oh my goodness this is going to be tough y'all i may have to get a different screwdriver Yep. Let me get let me get a different screwdriver. I'm gonna get this is a number two Phillips bit. These are number three screws and they are tight. So I'm gonna get a number three bit, probably in the impact driver. Take this thing apart. Alright, got an impact driver, number three bit. These should come out fairly easy with this. Wow, what a difference. On that one anyway. Okay. Two. I did look at the instructions. Um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, taking these out, these screws out. Um, looking at the glass, I did notice something that the instructions did not mention. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I, what I found, and I'll show you why I think that's the way it goes. But um, I mean, the instructions are basically take these out, put it in. It does say do not over tighten because you could cause the glass to break, which makes perfect sense. So I'm uh, gotta be really careful tightening them back up. All right, so this is the the steel ring thing that holds the glass in place or it goes against the glass and um, what I noticed on this new glass is that the gasket the rope gasket is longer on one edge than on the other and I'm pretty sure this edge goes against the I think it goes in this way because looking at this glass the rope gasket is pulled down and it creates kind of a cushion for the steel to go against. So that's why I think that's the way it goes and that looks like the way this one is. So I'm gonna to try to carefully, there's what I expected to happen. And uh, there we are. So I need probably this screwdriver to start these screws back. But this is a pretty simple thing. I mean, it. we found the glass on sale which, I mean, it was kind of pricey, but it could have been a lot worse. So, I decided to pull the door off. It just picks right up, and that way I can have gravity helping me instead of as I'm trying to push the glass in place and hold it all at the same time, then I don't, it's, it, the door keeps moving away from me. I don't have to worry about it now. I'm just going to put it in just like this, which is what I had intentionally thought about doing, or initially thought about doing the other day when we ordered this glass, but then I kind of forgot about it. All right, so I put this on here 
and I'm going to try to work this gasket, the rope gasket, into the position I feel like it needs to be in. Because like I said, the instructions didn't say anything about this. It just kind of seemed like it to me. I'm not going to tighten that much. Just barely snug it up to hold that gasket in place there. Then I'm going to come to over here. You want to try to push that gasket under there, baby? Just just push the gasket under. Don't try to pull the metal. Mm -hmm. Let me take a pocket knife because I think I can. Just, I think we had a little tool. be good as new. We can put some wood in the stove. I mean, we put, well, put wood in the first thing this morning and then that was it. Well, we've been not building big fires too because the glass is cracked. Yeah. And it hasn't been very cold, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully it hasn't been cold today. Okay, I think we've got it. I don't know what it looks like from the front side yet, but we're getting ready to find out. Put my gloves back on so I don't burn my hands. Because it is still warm. Okay. It looks perfectly fine. Just like new. Awesome. And this just sits back on these hinge pins. Sort of, like that. This little fancy cap goes back on there. And there it is, good as new again. Perfect. Well, hopefully this inspires y'all to Try to do more things. You know, if you have a cracked glass in your wood stove, it's not a bad fix. It's easy. So, um, you can do a lot of things that you don't know you can until you try. So, there you go. New wood stove glass. Mm -hmm.